Hello guys, Taekwondo540 with a 3 here, and I have just received my D-Brand skin for my Surface Book 2. Well, the Surface Book 2 D-Brand skin has not been released yet, but I figured it would be the same dimensions as the Surface Book 1. So yeah, so I've opened it, and inside I've ordered one for the top, which could be that way. And let's go. What else? One for the spine. I was about to get the bottom, but then I was like, nah, I don't need it. And now I kind of regret it. So what else is in here? You got a D brand skin microfiber cleaning cloth and this. I need that. Yeah. And has a little piece of foam in here or something. Okay. So, I've got the tour here, I've got the surface book here, let's get cracking. If you just got your D brand surface book skin, relax, this is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Okay. Nope, look at your D. Oops. Let's wipe it, make sure there's no dust. Brand skin comes with five elements. Top, logo, bottom, spine, and trackpad. Let's begin with the top piece. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align the skin around the camera and... Okay, so we're supposed to remove this from the paper and realign it with it down here okay not too bad so far so, uh, so far so okay kind of good yeah okay would be good if I had my surface book in the right direction as the tutorial Okay. Here we go. Oh shit. Shoot. Ah, okay. So there's supposed to be a half a millimeter gap in between all sides. So I said realign so that it's perfectly aligned. Okay, this is a lot harder than it is in the video. Man, that moved. Oh, alrighty. Well, that seems pretty even. Ish. I don't know, I think my eyes are playing with me. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Two microphone holes ensuring that the skin is perfectly straight along the top edge. Note that there is a half millimeter spacing between the edge of the skin and the edge of the device. Ensure the spacing is even all the way across the device. Otherwise, the entire skin will be tilted upon completion. Once lined up properly, apply pressure to the exposed portion of the skin. Now, lift the skin off the 3M paper Move the paper to the left and apply pressure to the exposed portion. You may now remove the 3M paper entirely. Smooth out the remainder of the surface bit by bit. Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> ah, okay, so lift it up. Put it sideways. So apply pressure on top. Yeah. 
I'm gonna apply pressure down here. Oh, not bad. Okay, I did. I did a good job. Okay, or well, a decent job, I think. Oh, oh. Okay, so I let it down, and then I smoothen it out like that. Oh no, air bubbles. Okay. It's aligned, yes! Okay, I was really scared that I would like screw up this application and not have it finished up aligned and yeah. But well, there we go guys, that is our Titanium Metal Surface Book 2. Which is the same dimensions as the Surface Book 1. But yeah. Alright, let's open this and see how it looks. Yeah, so it looks okay, not bad. Okay, back here. Yeah, so. Here we go. I'm very happy with this, very happy. I didn't want to go for something like really dark blue or bright blue, carbon fiber, black or anything like that because I wanted to still kind of be of the same, some sort of color tone like grayish with gray but yeah and this feels it's got a little like nice pattern to it because the pattern goes down so i'm feeling that kind of pattern here and it feels really nice okay time to do the spine to install the logo Floppy disk. Simply line up. Here we go. The spine pieces only fit one way. Simply line up each element and smooth it out. <laughs> the spine pieces only fit one way. Jeez. How do they do this? Simply. Okay. I am not very confident about putting my Surface Book like that, but here goes nothing. Let's align this properly, okay. Gimbal is set. Whoop, I'm about to fall off on me. Okay, here we go. So, here's our skin, let's apply it. I need to make sure I get this on straight. Oh my god, this is too much pressure. Uh. Okay, that's too high. Oh man. Okay, let's try lighting all this. Yeah, 
kind of works ish Okay, that didn't work well. Uh, the struggle is too real. Oh my god. Okay, so I've got it on the right length. I just need to fix this part. So it all should be aligned. I'm just going to apply pressure now. Okay, too high. Whoops, I need to fix this. Alrighty, yes. Not too shabby, but I got the job done. <gasps> I forgot to wipe it. Oh well. Whoops. <laughs> okay, it's a bit overhanging on the edge there, but I'll probably get scissors and cut it maybe. But yes. <laughs> okay, should probably wipe the rest of the edges. Okay. We line up each element and smooth it out. Oh, is that how you do it? Okay. Whoops. Oh well. You guys can watch me suffer. Painfully suffer. Whoa. Okay, looks like my gimbal's overheated. Oh wow, this video's been going for 14 minutes. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut the video here, guys, and 
yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.